Hi, I'm Steve Nunn, President and CEO of The Open Group, and I'm here today with our Vice President of Standards and Certification, Andrew Josie. Welcome, Andrew. Thanks, Steve. Andrew, can you give us an overview of the different types of certification that The Open Group offers? There are three types of certification that The Open Group offers. There's product certification, process certification, and people certification. Product certification examples are the Unix operating system, the FACE standard, and Archimate and TOGAF tools. Process certification includes the Open Trusted Technology Provider standard. Mm -hmm. And people certification includes our knowledge base programs, that's TOGAF, Archimate, IT for IT, and Open Fair, and also includes our Open Professions program. Okay, so what's the difference between a knowledge based certification program and an experience based program? Our knowledge-based programs are, are, are formed around a body of knowledge, so that's something you can actually study and learn, and typically you will take an exam to actually show that you have um, achieved that uh, level of uh, learning. Mm -hmm. Whereas our skills and experience-based programs, they're more about what you can do and how you do it, and so there you actually prepare a portfolio showing your experience and also the skills that you uh, are able to demonstrate. Right, okay. And what are some of the benefits of becoming certified by the Open Group? For technology products, the Open Group certification actually includes what we call a vendor warranty of conformance, thereby increasing the credibility of the certification worldwide. For our professional certifications, that includes both our knowledge-based, exam-based programs, as well as our, what we call our Open Profession Skills and Experience-based programs. The certification allows individuals to actually demonstrate their achievements and they do that both through having the certification, also something that we call open badges, so they're able to sh demonstrate and share that achievement with their peers. So what does the future hold for certifications from the Open Group? Okay, the future is looking quite exciting at the moment. We've got a few new initiatives that are coming out. Um, one of them is what we call open badges, and that's actually quite interesting because as well as handling our current certifications, it actually allows us to address smaller chunks of learning and so we're, we're rolling out what we call credentials. So you'll start to see credentials in a number of areas. There are, there are what we call refresher credentials. So when you update a program, we'll be able to bring out a small refresher course leading to what we call an open badge. Uh, there will be specializations. So it was, if you say, for example, want to go into more detail on business architecture, we're introducing a business architecture, a TOGAF business architecture credential that are roll out. Um, we're also looking at also a give back contribution sort of set of open badges. So where um, individuals are contributing to the open group, it might initially be in the area of standards, guides and so on. We would recognize that contribution and award them a, an open badge for that. Are there any specific plans for developments in the profession certification areas? Yes, we recently added the data scientist profession to our professions framework and as, as we've done that we've actually generalised the framework out so we can now apply it almost to any profession. So we're actually quite excited about that. Um, in fact one of the first areas we're looking to apply that in is actually in the open trusted technology provider area. Well thank you for your time and your thoughts today Andrew and for all the great work you're doing in certification. Thank you Steve.